There we go. Alright, welcome back to GameRex 459's run of Final Fantasy V played at 140 plus FPS. Just defeated the library boss. And now, we're going to be continuing on. These jobs that you see here, my characters will have to stick with that job for the entire game. I think I'll go ahead and reactivate my stream too. I'm not going to have any chat up and running this time, so... Well... I think I can do a little chat. Why not? Need to fix the title? I think I can do a little chat. Why not? Come on. There we go. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. One forty plus FPS. Okay. okay. All right. What's slowing it down? I think I know what it is. Never mind. There we go. Let me make sure this is down. Alright, there we go. Let's keep going, shall we? We just beat this, right? Alright, okay, good. So now we run off to wherever Gramps is. Alright, I need to equip her with a rod, so I use the fire rod. Kill the last boss fight. Got a little lucky there. I don't want to be on the desert when I get into an encounter, because that will be disaster otherwise.
So yeah, now we have access to a ship. We're gonna use this ship to go lots of places. What's the world map button? There we go. So, first things first. There's one place I want to hit it. I need to look on this map and find it. Either there it is. It's a couple extra items I can get, though it's risky this early on in the game. I also want to find just a little bit more experience, just cause... I don't want to end up getting my ass head to myself out. How about... Rough house? Okay, now I have to chat up again. Like I said, it was going to go. Wait, this is the spot? Yeah. I actually want to save state just in case. I'm going to head over here first to this town. Oh, you fucker. You fucker! You've gotta be kidding me. Really? Okay, I'm glad I saved state. I forget they counterattack with that. So I won't screw around. Extra stuff we can mail around here. That would be nice to get. And so will that. Wait a second, I have some? Huh? 
Why is he not? Well, hell! Right now, that hell, he can use the full moon. That way, I can put him in the back row so he doesn't take as much physical damage. Why do I not have those equipped? Come yeah. here. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Okay, so all I need is that coal sword. I probably got this. Yeah, I remember where I got those mage masters now. Okay. Evan ninjas, so all throwing items and potion stuff are useless. Only one equip? Oh, full moon. 900, throwing items are useless. Dark matter, protect. Extra pair of nickel parts. That should give me a coil sword right there. Which I will like having. This gear will be helpful for my coffees down here. I can get an extra green barret for him. Full sword for extra attack power. I think the coral sword is elemental though, so... In case I run into an enemy that's... Not exactly okay with that element. I can always go back and get more fire and ice rods as needed. So I finally get the Fire 3 spell. Is there a magic shop around here by chance? Hey, yes there is. You got anything useful for me? None but white magic jump. Ain't that utterly inconvenient. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm a white fire. Okay. Here's where it's going to be the test. RNG is going to decide this. If I run into a Skull Eater, I am fucked. I'm gonna have to watch this. Damn. Fuck you! Gotcha. Although that was kinda easy. Oh shit! Bye. Huh? Um. There we go. That's what it is. Here's all the chests.
the extra goodies I was talking about from before. Devil damage! Oh shit. Oh, I got to like it. Extra 5 ABB out of that. That's all. Thunder Web. Can I use that on my feet? If I change? No. Oh. It's a piece of shit! I actually need to watch my things down now. If I lose too many for this. Alright, that should be okay. off with the steps. Oh wait, what am I doing? Thunder rod, thunder whip, money. I believe the, the, the Coral Sword is Thunder Elemental? Not sure. One's down. The next one is up north. Don't do this now, I'll probably regret it. No, I'm scared. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. Thunder Elemental. So I'll need to switch it with that other weapon when I fight that boss up here we're trying to do.
Oh hell! These things. This is bad. Lovely! Okay, so I'm not doing that. Okay, I forgot those could pop up there. I'll have to be... very quick to get away from those. Okay, so no riding along the mountainside. this town. For battle axe, that's too much for me. <sighs> Those, these two things, I will be buying a lot of these before I leave. At least four of them, one for each member. Nothing useful. So yeah, something useless, but it's there. Okay, so... I run into here, that will show up. This is why I will want the fire rings and the coral rings.
that they're worth good experience, but the odds of you doing any damage to them is unlikely. They're difficult to kill. And they will likely kick your ass. Especially since there's five of them. While out here... It's not as bad, but it's still pretty bad. Which element do I need to hit these guys with? Ice doesn't work in... There we go. Must be thunder. That beats that. But we're the decent chunk of EXP on the road. They just might be a bit of a pain to kill. Go ahead and get some level ups right here, real fast. Just a couple, though, not very many. Also drop high potions, which is nice to have this early on. Which is the main reason I want to kill these things. In general. Yeah, the about that coral sword? I'd be doing next to no damage to that stone creature, and I'd have to use the black magic to break it down. This may not be the brightest idea in the world. Let's see what happens if I chuck an elemental god with these creatures. Did some very nice damage. That didn't do it. I can't screw around for this. My cousin both. They're worth 1500 EXP a pop. And 900 gold. Cool. 
cry. The reason I want to be here is for an enemy I need to fight. There's a boss in there, and it occurs as a result of a random encounter. Yeah, if you have the pearl ring, you can make a joke out of him. Which is actually why you want to buy a pearl ring. So these things cost 50,000! Each! That's a lot of guild farm! Yeah, protects against flame, absorbs water, but is weak against thunder. Pearl ring isn't useful. While the fire ring absorbs flame and protects against cold, but is weak against water. The main reason I want the fire ring is because it protects against cold, which is what those petit dragons use. Makes the fight with them a lot easier if you have some fire rings. I need to go ahead and restart my question supply. And they have a nice item drop as well, if you're lucky. Oh shit, there he is. I actually want to keep my rods here. Those few high questions I got earlier. that we get Rama. After me. So yeah, the light, like I stated in my previous video, those elemental rods help a lot in the early game. I will definitely be using them for a lot of boss fights to breeze through them. Anyway. Speed is actually higher than what I thought it'd be. Over in the 200 range. There we go, that fixes it. As I say, it's getting a little fast, ain't it? <laughs> Even beyond my standards. It's only supposed to be 140, not 200. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, I need to re click that sword. Once I reach level 20, I'll head to the next part. Which actually, I think if I go in here... Fight these dragons. Of course, they're not a lot of percent spawn, so... Silence! And of course, every now and then we get this weak guy, which we've all seen before, and it dies very quickly. Twenty on two of them. Almost there. Come on. Force me to do this, aren't you? Level 20 for her, but she died. So. Damn it, that's not what I was doing.
Okay, kill off Rama. Oh, it's not fast enough now, shut up. Whoa! That's not happening. There we go. I just need to have to not have this window in focus, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I rebuy my items. Still at 900, wow. Right, well, I got my levels, so... Let's get back out of here. Difference. Weird. Oh well. I'm not gonna understand how this freaking computer stupid weird FPS. Alright, we need to reset our mage master. Who's calling? Nobody else. I'm busy! Okay, now to go to where I'm supposed to go. Looks like if I had it just straight along this path here. After I enter this town, bye bye steamship.
Okay. Now that we're here... and thunderbirds. Nothing I need. Okay, she has those. So, yeah. Turns out they're not all extinct. There's one here. But trying to catch it is a pain in the ass. Oh, hey, I got lucky. Nope. Flies and we're out of there. So yeah, it can fly over small mountains. Anything with that white part of it though will not be fly over a ball. And it will not be able to land at any location other than a forest. So wherever you want to go, make sure there's a forest. Hopefully there's nothing of interest here, although you might think there is, but sadly there isn't. So yeah, this is what I could have used if I wanted to, to get over here, which I didn't think about for some reason. Don't ask me why. It totally slipped my mind. Anyway, I want to go ahead and get some more fire rods over here, so... Well, not necessarily fire rods, but rods in general. The elemental rods, please. We see how handy these are. Okay, so... Can I take down this creature in here yet? Let's find out. Probably not. Just to be sure. Uh, 
Bye bye, birdie. Okay. Let's give this a whirl. Hey, I killed it. So I can't take it out. That's nice to Yeah, that's why I was avoiding the desert, because there was a strong enemy in there. And I wasn't sure if I could take it out yet. But I'm definitely able to take it out now. I'll be out with a dead body or two, but yeah. I'm getting in the 200 ranges. Hmm. I feel like the FPS is adjusting for some reason that is beyond me. Like, sometimes it's fast enough, sometimes it isn't. Weird. Anyway... Two... Here, I believe? Hey, hey, we're insane and we're gonna defy logic. <laughs> hey, I got a pre elixir out of it. How convenient. Alright, for this next boss. Usually, you just want physical attackers. Luckily, we have two of them. So, in theory, it shouldn't be that difficult. This whole fight is going to come down to a little bit of luck. I'm going to have to time my attacks to make certain I don't get my ass out of me. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh. <laughs> Don't fall below 140, damn it. There we go. Are you ready? Sure, why not?
Ah, oh, shit. You can actually land magic on it. It'll do some nice damage. Shit. Boom. Dead. The sandworm mechanic actually gets more difficult with the higher speed. Okay, so walk across the sand room. Face what's left of it. Gotta look at this very closely to remember what path to take. What's the encounter rate for this area? Holy crap! Got it, I think. There it is. There we go. Through the desert.
basically for this stand at certain spots cause King Tycoon to move. I forget exactly where the spots are. There they are. <laughs> I love that little suit right there. Get out of there! There's a free restroom right here. Let me find here. Six down four right four what you find there? In other words, now we can get to this what? Is that how you get that? Well, I didn't know that! Okay. I guess it's because I haven't been through here in a while. Oh, thing. And you still go in here in case you want something out of here. There's still the monsters and stuff. It's a bunch of machinery!
Here, shit. And be prepared for the first, for the next boss battle. Which can give you a core sword. Which, by the way, since I already have one, I just destroyed it. <laughs> And now we have a flying ship. I can go wherever the hell I want throughout this world. And with the airship unlocked, there's some other places we can get to, like right here. And it is this guy's hometown. You decide to sleep at the end. What is up with these spikes in the FBS? Usually it's a good thing, but in this case it's not. Okay, if you speak to this guy, it'll play a cutscene. Every time. Yeah, you hit a little too well. <laughs> so you get discount stuff here. So you can get eaters for discounts. And I will take as many as I can get, to say the least. Later on in the game, it will be nice to have them. But you will have to buy them before a certain point in the game. Not much here at the weapons and armor shops. But those will be nice to have. They're an improvement from that silver crap. By far. Afterwards, I'll buy one green bear later. So yeah, if you take a look at this, cutscene will play. How did she die though? Suicide? What is up with this 200 points?
But if the chat window's open, it's too slow. You know what, I guess we can say to hell with that. It's not being used anyway. Hopefully that does it. Anyway. Hopefully that brings the FPS more under control. Anyway, so to start the next part... Fly over to this location, and something will happen. You won't be able to the town, because it will get destroyed by this thing. Which will fly up into space. Well, not necessarily space, but way high up. And yes, this thing could become a steamship. <laughs> Don't ask me why. We can switch between them. Anyway, so... So what you want to do after witnessing that... Let's go over here. As soon as you approach right here, Sid and Mid will come out. So, we gotta go get some adamantium. So we have to go back to the very beginning where it all began. So right here, at this very meteor. So everything in the game comes full circle for this one world. Of course there's more worlds, but anyway. Fill with the switch and open it up. As soon as you touch that, a boss battle will begin. My FPS is weird. One step. Or two, three, four. There we go. And the turtle comes up play.
that has heavy, heavy physical attacks. Get rid of that thing. If I want to buy another. After that, we can run off with it. Heal up real fast. Show pens, speed drinks, protect drinks, ice bows. Got an extra coral swords and destroy one. I need to go get me a nice job. Mm -hmm. Actually, need to buy a lot more of those. Okay, go get me a nice round over by Planet. Okay, so... An all-time record speed! <laughs> Okay, so, I will knock out the first four cannons. You're dealing with robotic stuff, so lightning is a mess. So that coil sword I got is nice. Not a high touch from Burnt Eye.
Got it. Jeez. Back out. Oh, Oh, that's some dickish machine later. Other two. So the only way you're going to lose the battle against those rocket things is if your characters kill themselves. Because all of its attacks do percentage of HP and damage. So it can never truly kill you. Once you destroy the four cannons, that thing pops up. Get out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna need to do just a slight amount more grinding. If I don't, I'm gonna regret it. That if you're lucky, you'll kill them all with one kick from a monk.
gonna go to that spot. Right here. I do better. Where is it? that spot where I encountered that thing, so I know it's worth a good amount of money. I was like right up on it, so... There it is. Done, one down. So yeah, two thousand gale for killing knights. Which is a lot for me. That means I will only need to kill those things twenty twenty times I believe. I have that upgrade. No, not twenty, uh I guess it's kind of RNG as to whether I encounter them or not, though. Just curious. Remember back on my old channel, I had a video. Which around right here, there were some enemies. You could fight that were worth a lot of gold. But they're extremely tough to kill. Let's see if they're here. Or whether that's a World 3 exclusive enemy. Maybe a World 3 exclusive. That'll be at a very specific spot to run in from now. Forget them for now. Not gonna bang my hand over a uh, RNG chance. Level ups. 
Will that be enough? Okay, let's give this a go. Okay. I bought that thunder rod. Let's go. Break already. Fine. Okay, but first, I almost got my ass out of time. I'm thinking a lot of HP. Go buy another rod. Actually, buy like truck tons of them. That'll do it for this part for me. Next time we're gonna explore the insides of that ship. Game X459, peace out.